Hey, we're here again at ESRI with Bernie Sukalski of the ArcGIS Explorer team. Bernie, a lot of people know about RSS on the internet and how to tap into those types of services to stay updated. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about GeoRSS, uh, which is RSS that has embedded location information linked into it. How do I use GeoRSS with ArcGIS Explorer? Sure. Let, let me show you an example. And you're right. Uh, GeoRSS is just location-enabled RSS feeds. And um, a good example of that is the USGS earthquake feed. So let's go ahead and open the USGS earthquake uh, site. You can see here's the latest feeds and data. And one of the options here is to look at a GeoRSS feed and uh, let's choose the magnitude two and a half uh, earthquakes over the past seven days. So I can click on this link and I can view the most recent information. Here's uh, an earthquake that uh, happened in Southern California. Looks like it was a small one just about an hour ago. So this is constantly being updated, which is what we want. Now I can just uh, copy and uh, copy this URL and I can connect to this GeoRSS feed directly in Explorer and I do that by choosing File and then Open and then Servers and you can see now new at 480 is an option to connect to a GeoRSS feed. So I'll just choose that and I'll paste that URL and click OK and now we've established a connection to that USGS feed. When I click Open, we'll make the connection and I'm prompted to choose a symbol, choose uh, some information about the scale now one of the things here is because this is dynamic content, we're not caching the data. So we're always pulling over new cache at regular intervals, so we'll always see the latest updated earthquake feed information. And I'm going to choose a yellow warning symbol here and click Finish. Now the dots that we see on the map are coming from that USGS feed, and they're showing all the magnitude two and a half or greater earthquakes which have occurred over the past week. Now if I hover, I'll get a little bit of information. So here's a magnitude uh, 2.6 in Alabama. If I click on that, I can follow the link to the rest of the USGS information, which shows me um, some additional details, when it happened, the depth, and, uh, and so forth. So this is a really great way to get the latest and greatest updated information. Now if you want to see this, I'll show you how to do this even easier now. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this layer now that I've discovered the connection information and I'm going to right click and choose email. And uh, at this point uh, I'll just type in your name and what's happened is that that layer has now been saved out as an NMF file and I'm going to go ahead and send that to you and all you need to do is just double click on that in your email and open it and you'll be connected and you'll see what I see. Okay, so you don't have to connect to it more than once and you don't have to teach me how to do what you just did. If you want to show me those earthquakes in, in a way that stays live, I can open it up again and again and always get the live feed. You just give me the NMF, that's it. That's all I need to do is open it up and see it. Simple as that. All right. Anything else? That's it for today. Thanks for your time, Vern. We'll see you later. Okay, Jim. See you. Bye.